have you also told your self informations and kind of feel like it doesn't work at all to you? Oh! Harry Shaper, I hope you're doing fantastic today. In today's very video, I'm going to share with you why affirmation may not work of you. You can, what you can do if you're on this channel, you can first of all go and just go and subscribe to this channel before you forget it and also hit the notification bell. You may also follow myself on all this social media. I do videos every Wednesday and Sunday, so let's jump in. Appreciate it. Affirmations. Many people are telling you that affirmations might actually help you, especially in the personal development world. And when you are an entrepreneur, you know that affirmation might help with someone. Oh! Especially people like Napoleon Hill and other people have told about affirmations are really powerful. However, what happened with affirmation is our brain is remember this one song. Why the fuck you lying? Why? Why you always lying? When you are telling information. Affirmations are pretty powerful, but as far as you're telling the truth. And when you have been suffering from social anxiety and other things is, you're not really telling the truth yourself, don't you? You are accepting the truth how it comes to you, but it's not really the truth. It's just the objective truth, but not the objective truth. And especially if you're a leader, and you might know that social anxiety is really, really, really harsh to overcome as a leader, you want to overcome it ASAP. And the first thing that I want to recommend you to overcome your social anxiety is watch this video, it might already help you, so you don't have to waste time and money on other people. If it doesn't help you, or if you need more help, you can also have myself as a coach by myself. Well, I have been also had social anxiety more than 15 years and have overcome it because I had a coach. And currently I also help my own client who has their own businesses and struggling with social anxiety to overcome social anxiety ASAP. So if you're an action taker, because I believe you're an action taker, and if you want to have me as a coach, because I know the best coaches are who have been in the same shoes as you, you can just go and click on the calendar link in the description box down below and you can schedule a call with myself. Alternatively, if you're one of those human beings who are more likely to having data or really reading stuff, if you want to read stuff, I want you to also go in the description box, there is my Sesa Another Social Anxiety Guide. You can just grasp it and you know exactly the steps that you have to take to overcome social anxiety by yourself. Reshaper, why we actually doing affirmation and some affirmation just don't work? Well, do you know the song? Always lying to me. Yeah, this is actually what happened if you say to yourself an affirmation that is representing the opposite reality that your brain has saved. How does it happen? Well, let's just take a nice expression. You are a person of worth. You are a worthful person. However, you are inside. You are like inside your brain. You have saved up something like between the lines, I'm worthless. And again, this song is playing you lying so much. And in your brain and it remembers it and what happens is actually it says no you're a freaking liar <laughs> and because you're a freaking liar well you have to do it differently the first step that you want to do is you want to go for it and just don't go for the extreme of it don't go for the opposite do something in the between for example when you said you are a worthful person it's a little bit the extreme of worthless so let's take go for I am attractive person pretty easy right and then you tell you keep telling you you're an attractive person and it is easy for you to comprehend with your body and with your uh, core belief which is maybe you're worthless and therefore in the second step is you're doing like a, a step further I'm a person of value I give person value. I'm not a worthful person, but a person of value, okay? So it's not extreme to be a worthful person, but you're still a person of value. So this is the second step. And then the third step is you come, you get off other affirmations and you come step closer, step closer, step closer, till you, 
till you get the opposite of what you have been saved up in your subconscious mind. Recap, how make affirmation work for you? First of all, don't take the opposite of the affirmation that you have, take something in between. For example, if, you te if you're telling yourself you're a worthful person, but inside of you, you are saying you are a worthless person, take something in between like I'm an attractive person. Second step, you go one step further and take something in between and saying like, okay, I am a person of value. And third step is you go on more steps, more tiny steps, or when there are no tiny steps, you can just go to the extreme. To and do the steps, which is really important, till your body is really responsive towards that you really feel it. You can feel it, you feel better energy and stuff like that. Okay, okay. okay. I do these videos every Yo. Wednesday and Sunday, so make sure to subscribe to this notification bell, share with your friends and loved ones, recap if you don't want to, because next we will be stop complaining. And so today's question is comment in the comments box down below what is the affirmation your current telling to you. Appreciate that. In this very channel, the videos about procrastination, about social anxiety, tackling all this stuff and so forth. So make sure to watch these videos in the meanwhile. And as always, do not let yourself to passion out. See you next video.